Have you got any insight or wisdom to share with us? Shoot to kill. <laughs> <laughs> kill what? Whatever you shooting at, <laughs> shoot to kill. I mean, you know, we're not playing. Shoot to kill. <laughs> That's right. If a man's breaking your back door down, shoot to kill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean that that only makes sense to me. I don't I don't have to think about that a long time, man. We're learning. Yeah, that's right. We are learning from the great master himself. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to think about that too long. We'll get Holly. We'll get Holly to do a article on that. Yeah. <laughs> Type up, I always have him in the newspaper. Was she working today? Yeah, she was working today. She didn't get off till five. So I, I would like to see. She's my, she's my favorite journalist. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of advice you gonna give this new generation of rabbit hunters? Shoot to kill. Yeah, but I, <laughs> yeah. I heard that. What else? Find more rabbit. Well, I mean, you chicken. got a new generation coming on. Yeah, come here. I want to talk to Dana. She's a master of the hounds from here on out. He's passing the stick to her. Now, you're confident we had two rabbits then? I seen one, and I heard one. Well, the, the, the trick is this. If, you, if you've got two rabbits and you know it, kill one. Quick as you can, kill one. Because otherwise, all you've got is confusion. You can't, they all look alike to you, they're bright. So, consequently, when you want to call the dogs and put them on a rabbit, all you can do is put them on a brown rabbit. You, you don't know whether it's rabbit A or rabbit B. So, kill one. Then you get him off the ground, and things are much less complicated. Then you're not calling the dogs on this line and on that line and the other line. And you'll end up killing them both before it's over with. So from here on out, you're the master of the hounds when your daddy can't come. So you, you it. Okay. No pressure. <laughs> no. Yes. Did you get a chance to see Copper run today? Mm -hmm. I did. I got a good look at all of them. How well did she run? She did really well. Um, they crossed before that one rabbit crossed the path in front of Kenshin. He, they kind of craw crawled in front of me, but I couldn't get a good shot at it. And when the dogs came over to look at it, they um, like kind of hit a bother and they couldn't figure it out. And Copper started moving in a circle and stayed there until she figured it out and then started barking. So she made it all. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, see, so I thought it was Chop's dogs. It might have been. But anyway, my my <laughs> advice to you is. Mm -hmm. If somebody said, well, there goes a rabbit, well, here goes another one, then you just speak up and say, kill one. Okay. How many years of rabbit hunting have you been hunting? Probably 40. 40 years. All accumulated. See, I didn't rabbit hunt all the time. I bird hunted, coon hunted. Uh, and then, of course, when, when the birds went away, you had to do something. So I rabbit hunted, and I rabbit hunted some I, I, 40 years, I guess. And what was the best dog you ever had? Mary was probably one of the best. And a little dog I bought from Paul Lumpkin could catch a rabbit on average every time he went. She could win them. And she'd go by him. She'd, she'd go on by the rabbit and let the rabbit think she didn't know where it was. Yeah, squeak, squeak, squeak. And that was, and that was her rabbit. What was her name? Blue. Blue. Little old fuzzy tail dog. She was, she was about half everything except Beagle. Uh, but <laughs> she could win the rabbit and run one. This is a tale I tell you. We were hunting one day and it was hot. 
and the only dog we had was her. So we, we came by this hog lot and they had some fence posts up, so I took my jacket off and hung it on a fence post. Well, I got over in the woods where the rabbit was running. I didn't have any shells. I left them in my coat. So I said, well, I'll, I'll go. While she's gone, she was out of hearing. I'll go get my coat. Well, when I got back, she was still out of hearing. And I heard her coming after I'd been back five, six minutes, chewing that rabbit alive. And she got right on top of me, and I said, well, where's the rabbit? I can see the dog and no rabbit. She was pulling the skin off of his back. <laughs> uh, she had absolutely run him to the ground. Oh, my God. Uh, tough dog. Uh, yeah. Don't make him like that. And now Mary, she led the pack, and they would catch... They catch a lot of rabbits. That's the one we told you. If it were 20 seconds, if a rabbit was only 20 seconds ahead of the dogs, we Pick them up. picked up the dogs. <laughs> I mean, not in hunting season, but I'm mean, when we were running the dogs to exercise them. We didn't give them but a 20 minute, a 20 second lead. Oh, she was going to catch it because they were going to catch. They were going to catch the rabbit. Well, we used to hunt. Uh, we used to run them down at, in Charles City at, uh, what's the plantation down at? Berkeley? No. The, 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 Shirley? Uh, Shirley. Huh? Shirley? Shirley. Yeah, Mr. Clark owned it. He used to let us run the dogs there. Well, it was a big field, and it was a little narrow patch of weeds down beside the field. Then it made a turn, and it was some broom straw. Well, they jumped a rabbit, and he went across that open field, and of course, Mary was in the lead, and when it, why, why the rabbit didn't jump in and weeds, I don't know. But when he got to the end of the field, he made a turn, and he went in that broom straw. Well, she didn't run that far past where he went in the broom straw, and she went right in behind him. I said, that's a caught rabbit. So I dived in the broom straw behind her, and here comes a rabbit right between my legs, and I knelt down and <laughs> let the rabbit go and caught her. <laughs> now I got a witness back there. He weighs about 260 pounds. <laughs> you can't believe nothing. Uh, <laughs> man says. But he was right there when that happened. <laughs> what, was that little, what was that little red, red and white dog's name that jumped a lot of rabbits? Dave, my memory ain't as good as yours. Hey, David's got an awesome memory. I can't remember. My memory ain't as old as yours. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know, but I do remember the days of Mary, Mary, and it was like running deal. Mm -hmm. That rabbit come by, he was stretching. Yeah, yeah, you had, about that long. Yeah. And then you had Charles Lillis in the bunch, but it was like this, and, and the chase was like it's in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that little dog's name? I, I thought about remember. her the other day. Wasn't fly. Was it fly? Yeah, it was Maybe fly. Maybe it was fly. Yeah, fly sounds mm -hmm. familiar. Fly does sound familiar. Does she sound was a little familiar. white dog with some red markings. That sounds yeah. familiar. Fly. Was that the one that died out on the road that time? No, that was. Remember y'all? We never did. I, I think that was Mary's. Mary's when we lost one. I don't remember. No, when did we lost Mary? No, it wasn't. One, it was, of, one of one of one of them died. One of them died and, well, we never. She never showed back up. Oh, oh, that was. Uh, was that hot day. That was Chop's dog. It was. I don't remember the name. Mm -hmm. uh, but I knew one of them did. It won't marry. What was the dog? No, nah, it won't marry. It won't Rena. No, no, it wasn't Rena. Something started with an R. It was Rowdy. 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 I knew it started with mm -hmm. a howl. Look, Dave, Look, he went through Chavis brain Chavis surgery. <laughs> he went through brain surgery. He can still remember more Chavis than me. Look, Dave, they ain't wiped it all. Like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said, we can't get out. He can remember yeah, more than we can. Right yeah, but if you go through young, you're going to get stuck at the phone. All right, right well, we'll wrap it up, cameraman. Yep. I don't want, I don't want Good day. Want Everybody's ready well, to bug out. Kill three. You will never make the turn down. I guess I'll go to We got Matthew. And you remember what I told you. Let's turn right down you, you I mean, I can go in that back up here. Yeah. I, was saying, I thought you were going to go down the middle path. Yeah. And you I make the chase, the middle path and you coming make the chase go no, smoothly. No, that's no, that's no, your responsibility. Make the chase go smoothly. I'm not going to try that. 
you all. Yeah. We missed you, yeah. man. Yes, sir. We certainly glad you made it back. And you know, we look forward to a many more. <laughs> you ain't lying. Tuesday. Well, <laughs> yeah, no quicker than Tuesday. I'll be here if I can get here. Let's put it that way. You want me to come get you? <laughs> no. He's driving no. truck. It don't cost him no gas money. He's driving my, Dan's my truck. My advisor says don't do that. <laughs> so. All right. Calvin, good to see you.